Morning student, today we discuss about the tissues. Living beings are made up of many cells, we call them multicellular living beings. They are made up of many cells and the group of cells which are having many cells, we call them tissues. The definition of tissues is the group of cells which are similar in origin and functions are called tissues. The plants and animals both are made up of cells and tissues. In multicellular living beings, in case of plant body, they are also having the tissues. In plant body, the tissues are divided in two groups on the basis of their division power. In the plant, the first group is known as the marismatic tissues or this is known as the meristem. Second one is called the permanent tissue because they cannot divide again so we call them permanent tissue. First of all we discuss about the meristem or marismatic tissues. Meristem, the tissue which divide again and again in the plant body and help in the growth and development of the plant body. So the meristems having the certain feature. First, these cells having the thin cell wall. It means they are having no deposition of any other substance just like lignin Second one, these cells having no intercellular space Intercellular space it means the space present between two cells or between the cells we call them intercellular space. These cells having the many cell organelles in their structures and another important point is these cells are continuously divide and form the new cells we call them marismatic tissues. So these are the certain features of the marismatic tissues. Meristem. This region is known as the meristem. This region is responsible for the growth and development of the plant body. And another region is also the having the cells. We call them marismatic region. So this is also marismatic region. And in the lateral position of the plant body, this region also known as the marismatic region. It means plant body having the three type of meristems on the basis of their position. So the first meristem which is present in the top of the plant body, we call them apical meristem. This meristem is the responsible for the growth and development of the plant body. Second one which is present at the base of the branches and the leaves. We call them intercalary meristem. This intercalary meristem responsible for the branches and leaf of the plant body. And this is the reason which is responsible for the, this reason is responsible for the lateral growth of the plant body. So this meristem is known as the lateral meristem of the plant body. Yes. We have discussed already the types of meristem on the basis of the position. The first one is the apical meristem. The first one is the apical meristem. First. This apical meristem is responsible for the growth and development of the plant body in the case of length. It means this, this meristem is responsible for the height of the plant body. Right. Now second one is the intercalary meristem. This meristem is the responsible for the branching of the plant body and leaf of the plant body. It is present at the base of the leaf and branches of plants. Now third one is the
lateral meristem this lateral meristem present in the lateral position of the plant body which is responsible for the lateral growth it means thickness of the plant body this tissue is responsible for the thickness of a stem now we discuss the types of meristem on the basis of on the basis of their origin first one is the primary meristem which is made up of embryo of the seed develop from embryo of seed so what is the embryo every seed having the small structure in the in their structure to so the seed having the embryo in their structure so this embryo is the responsible for the development of new plants to so such type of meristem is known as the primary meristem now the second type is second type is known as the secondary meristem this meristem is developed from the permanent cells the permanent cells which are not divided generally but in such type of cells these permanent cells again regain their regeneration power and form the new cells it means they divide again and form the cells we call them secondary meristem permanent cells they divide again and form the new tissue we call them secondary meristem this meristem is the responsible for the secondary growth of plant body of plant body so the meristem what is the function of meristem in the plant body so in the plants the function of meristem is first one is the it is the responsible formation of new cells in the plants second one is the it is the responsible for the growth and development of the plant body of plants now next is the next function is the in the case of apical meristem apical meristem responsible for height of the plant body fourth one is the lateral meristem which is responsible for responsible for thickness of the plant body and last one is the intercalary meristem which is responsible for branches and leaf of the tree so these are the functions of the meristem in the plant body now next one is the permanent tissues so in the plant body the tissues are having the another type we call them permanent tissue the tissue which cannot divide again we call them permanent tissue example the plant body is made up of cells and this cells are present in the leaf stem and roots the cells are present in the leaf stem and roots so such type of cells are called the permanent tissues in the permanent tissue the permanent tissue divided in two types first one is the simple permanent tissues the simple permanent tissues are made up of only one type of cells another one is the 
complex permanent tissue complex permanent tissue they are made up of more than one type of cells what is the main feature of permanent tissue the first main important feature they cannot divide again 